Hi guys, the day is time to pick the team to play West Brom tomorrow, so let's get started. In goal, Anthony Patterson, the race manager, because I thought he had a good game last weekend against them, Millwall. He made countless saves that kept kept the score and kept our point intact, if you get if you get I me. Mean, the goal, he couldn't do anything about, so yeah. Right back, I will play now, Huggins, the race manager, because like I've said for weeks now, he's better at right back. Then he is at left back. If you get if you get if you get what get what I mean, he struggled at left back. But every time he goes right back, he does well. So, and like I've always said, his better performances have been at right back this season. So, I'm um, moving back to right back. Will it happen? Probably not. So yeah. Now this is a big call. I would bring Yancy still in for Logo Nine. I think it's time Logo Nine comes out of the team. If I'm in total honesty, he hasn't. I thought he was awful last week and against them. Um, Millwall for the goal, it was him and Hume, but weren't just all nine. And, and yeah, you're that awful game for Sale. Sale, uh, I felt sorry for him again, told us Phil, and he would put out right back. If you got me, why would you put, I think it's a six foot six or a six, six foot four, four like centre back at right back. I don't get, don't get it if you got me. So put him at centre back and let's see what he can do. He was okay when he played against Birmingham there, so yeah. Left centre back, I go for Dan Ballard. I don't think he had the best game, and I think he could have done better for the goal if you get if if you get me instead of just steaming at, at, out trying to make a challenge. If he didn't, I don't think that could have happened. But yeah, overall, Ballard is a good defender. He's our best defender, and for me, he's one of the best centre halves in the league. So yeah, left back, I go for Trey here in the red mic because, like I said, said um. Um, with Huggins, I just think he's better as as uh, been better when he plays left back this season, and like I said, I think he could have done better for for the goal goal again against Mill Millwall, and I'm now hoping now now that Dodge the who's taking charge of the game just tells Trey Hume to be a conventional full back if you get if you get what I mean. None of this um or let's wonder into midfield crap. Just get him to play a full back. And, and yeah, yeah, but I'm sure it'll probably be inverted, so yeah. First thing, I'm going to pick up the race, Mike, because I, again, I don't think he had a great game against Millwall, but it's another one of them games where you do need two holding midfielders. It's not football manager where you can, or like Faith, for an example, where you can just play many attacking players if you want, so I would leave that echo in. In, I can get the south of me and put no nine, nine instead of Equa, but that's not going to happen, so yeah. Then next to him, Dan Neil, the race wise, because cause I thought Dan Neil, once again, didn't have the best game against Millwall, but like I will repeatedly say, Dan Neil's our best midfielder, fielder, if you get what I mean, and I think he's a play, player still, so yeah. Right wing, I'll bring Pat Roberts back in. I don't think it was the right decision to drop him against Millwall, but I think with the way he performed off the bench against them, and end with Abdullah Bar's performance, it makes it a no brainer that he still come back in. He has got to start getting goals and assists if you get if you get if you get what I mean. Hopefully the new manager will work on him to to like improve that. Because I do think Roberts is a good player but and will cause team problems but he's having it and he's a good player to watch but he needs to start clocking the numbers up if you get what I mean. So yeah. Number ten, I would bring Alex Perch up backing and I hope he does does and personally I will make him captain. The reason why he's absolutely brilliant and I just do he once again made an impact off the bench again again against Millwall and played a big part in why we got we got a draft lead and win the penalty Clark did but but if you get what I mean and I just don't don't think why why did one get rid of him in the summer. I just don't understand that just because he's he is he's a quality player at this level level and he should be playing playing more and I don't want to hear any of this but apparently the reason why Mowbray said the hierarchy wouldn't let me play him. If that's the case that's just a disgrace. But yeah Pritch our starts for me is he should take the captain's armband and and yeah will it happen? No it'll probably be Bellingham or a chase but yeah. Left wing Jack Clark at the race wide because thank God for him against Millwall he won with a penalty and scored scored it. Whether it was a penalty I don't know but I'll take 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 it if you get if you get my main main and so so yeah so yeah I don't think he had his best game but he scored and I can't complain so yeah. Then up front I go for Elias Miranda the race wide because I just think he's the best out of the four strikers that's just just why I wouldn't play a burst on I thought he was absolutely terrible last last week week um. 
if Rosen's back, I would have him on the bench, and I wouldn't be against him starting. But yeah, and and if I'm, and if I may have got a start again, I won't complain. Complain. I feel so sorry for the lad of what's happened to him. I bet he'll be glad more is gone. But yeah, I'll go for me ended because I think he's the best one out of the four. So so yeah. And on the bench, I'll go Nathan Bishop, Luke O'Neill, Natalia Twain, Ed, Joe Bellingham, Adela Chase, Abdullah Barr, Bradley Dack, Natalia Rosen, and Lewis Semedo. So, yeah, so my score prediction, I honestly don't know. I want to see a, see a 2 1 Sunderland, and I want to see that would be Jack Clark and Pat Roberts that score. I'm just going to go with that, but I wouldn't be surprised if we did get beat, though. So, yeah, so that's the end of the video. Hopefully, you've enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, view, comment, and see. Yeah.